I be sports, niggas just crying all of a sudden. NFL player releases, Jason Williams shooting the limo. NBA, you know what I'm saying? The greatest debut. Oh, we in this thing. Let's go. So the past couple of weeks, I've been starting off with NBA. Today, we starting off with NFL. You know, players just getting released all of a sudden. Two running backs, Westbrook, Daniel Thomason, and also Peppers. Julius Peppers getting released? Oh, they just releasing stars automatically. I know running backs getting released because you're getting old, boy. You know what I'm saying? You can't. That legs not moving like they're supposed to. So, you know, we got new people coming in about to take the spot. But, Damien, you don't have to cry about it, boy. Just go buy you a little fake Super Bowl ring if that's what you really want, nigga. Peppers. We can use you on the Falcons, boy. <laughs> we can use you. Tell me why your boy, Jason Williams, not from the Magic, the one that shot his limo driver, wants to cry now and bitch about it. I'm sorry for my family. This shit, nigga, shut the fuck up, nigga. You the one that pulled that trigger. Nobody tells you to shoot your limo driver. What did you shoot him for in the first place? That nigga, T-Mac. I told y'all he was going to go off. He didn't get 35, but season's not over yet. But 26 in the first game back. You can say it's against the Thunder, but the Thunder been balling. So, fuck what you say, nigga. Why in the world is T-Mac not taking the final, the final shot of the games? Like, the last two games they played, like, he just passed that thing off. He wasn't even, he wasn't even hardly play overtime against Boston. They could have beat him. But, you know, need to work on that, Mike D'Antoni. It's T-Mac. You already know what he's capable of. You can say he just came back, but you already know he's capable of. The boy, Dirt, and the mask, once again, have been getting that ass on all the motherfucking teams in the NBA. From the Lakers, to the Hawks, to you, you name a team. I bet they beat him automatically without Karan Butler. You just wait till playoffs get around. I see him in the finals. I'm like, you might not see it, but look at my eyes, nigga. I do. They just been balling. Beat the Lakers Wednesday. And Andrew Biden gets fined 25000 for crying about it. You don't have to cry about it, big baby. You know, just do better next time. You got a couple more games left. You're still number one in the West, but you don't have to cry. Y'all can't be y'all y'all can't win every game. You know what I'm saying? You gotta lose some. It's the Mavericks, so you gotta lose that one. You know. Karan Butler didn't even play. So I know y'all getting a little bit scared. You know, Kobe came back, his little game with against the Grizzlies. The game before that, I think it was like February 3rd, he passed that thing to Artest. Artest missed that shit because Artest is just a thug. Probably was, you know, out drinking the night before. But, you know, Kobe went ahead and took that thing, made that thing, you know. Congratulations on that. But you still lost to the Mavericks. I don't know what's wrong with the Cavs, like. On a little three-game losing streak. I don't know what happened with them. They'll fall apart against the Magic. But, you know, LeBron just had to step that thing up last night or whatever against the Raptors in overtime without Bosch. You know, kind of iffy, iffy. Uh, LeBron, I don't know what's going on with you and these Eastern teams. I mean, I know you beat Boston. You know what I'm saying? You beat Boston for the first time at home this week. But you just can't get over that hump of that magic. Don't know where, but just can't do it. You can do it, though. You know what I'm saying? Playoff time, just go ahead and score a little 40 each game. That'd be an automatic win. You might say he's overrated, but it's LeBron. He's not. He's the king. James, what the fuck do you expect? Stephen Curry. Who checked out the game? Not Sunday's game. Well, matter of fact, we're going to start with Sunday's game. This nigga. These niggas came back from a 20... I think it was 18, 20 point deficit against the Hawks and won. Even though they lost to the Nuggets on Thursday. That move he did on the Birdman had him flying to the motherfucking first row. Then nigga Stephen Curry, like top ranked rookie of the year. You know what I'm saying? Well, behind Tyree Evans there. That man Billups got the best of them though. Billups was like, I'm going against a little rookie, little point guard. I'm going to shoot the three on his ass. I'm going to shoot the three on his ass. That's what I do. I think that's about it, folks. Real Gibson, IB Sports, comment, you know, we in this thing, signing off.